I still want you to do some training in liposuction. It's not especially challenging, though, is it? I always thought it was a fairly simple procedure. Ah, uh, yes, but there is an art to it, and it is very popular. It's the most effective way of treating unwanted body fats. Come on, Jenny, you know guys. I'll only give you a 10 out of 10 if you've got a bust like Dolly Parton. Oh, great, so I have a 40-inch bust one day. Trouble is, I have a waist and hips to go with it. You don't need liposuction. It's the only way I'm going to get rid of it. Well, if that's what you think, it's a good thing we don't do that type of surgery here. Oh, but you do. At least you're going to. Is that right? Thanks a lot. Warner, you never got round to telling me your last name. No, I had far more important things on my mind. Uh, so how long are you staying with your brother, is it? Yeah, a couple of weeks, or until he gets sick of me, whichever comes last. Let's go back to bed. Uh, I'm late enough for work as it is. How about dinner, then? I can't. I've got to practice. Uh, the orchestra's going away on tour soon. Oh. Well, if I don't see you before you leave, have a great time. And if you're ever in Palmerston North, look me up, eh? Promise? Promise. Oh, meanwhile, I will keep an eye out for your solo album. Meredith... Uh, I didn't get your last name either. Uh, uh, Andrews. Gorgeous Meredith Andrews. Timpani by candlelight. I can see it now. Ah, oh, now let's have a look. <clears throat> oh. Gina. So, uh, how sales? Oh, uh, fab, just fab. Look, I was wondering if you had a spare second. Sure, what can I help you with? Uh, well, it's kind of private. Ah. Um, come through. <clears throat> so, uh, what is it? I confess, I eavesdropped. I know all about it and now I want it myself. I told Honey, but he didn't think I should and he won't help me, so I came to Gina, you. Gina, Gina, slow down. Now, what are you talking about? I'm talking about fat. I want it sucked out, every last cell. Ah, liposuction. Yeah, I overheard you and Dr. Warner in the coffee shop. So I, so I went to Honey, but he won't take me seriously. He doesn't think I need it and refused to discuss it any further. Yes, well, I am inclined to agree with Honey. But on the other hand, Dr. Warner is the man you should talk to. He's in charge of the new unit and he'll point you in the right direction. Thanks, Dr. McKenna. You're the greatest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sunblock. Oh, I've got it. Oh, seasickness pills. Tom will probably want to take me canoeing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve, this just came in today's mail. It's from Brisbane. Uh -huh. Say so please. Can you stick it in my mail? Actually, it isn't just yours, it's addressed to the whole clinic. I can't believe she'd send you guys a card before me. You'll probably have one waiting for you at home. She's hardly likely to have forgotten you so soon. Yes, Steve, nobody can forget you in a week. Not even someone with amnesia. <gasps> Very good, Kirsty. <laughs> Very funny. Look, if you're that worried, just give Sam a call. Get him to check the litter box. Uh, he's on nights. He'll be asleep by now and gone by the time I get home. <sighs> Looks like another lonely night with only killer for company. Well, you know what they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Why should it? I mean, why should it? Why don't I just jump on a plane and go and visit Sarah in Queensland? She'd love it. I mean, what a wonderful surprise. Surprise, yes, wonderful, no. Where would you get the money from? And you've run out of holidays. Oh, and don't forget killer's insulin jabs. Right. No money, no holidays, no girlfriend, no diabetic dog. Life sucks. Isn't he sweet? No, he's pathetic. Ah, morning, Meredith. Want a coffee? Mm, that's what I need. Um, um, no, no, I don't. Um, of course I don't. Um, uh, bye. Ah, Gina, you remind me of two of those things. Be there in a jiffy, Dr. Warner. Uh, listen, mate, about last night, I owe you an apology. Ah, uh, save your apologies and accept my sincerest gratitude. Ah, uh, thanks, Gina. No problem, oh. Why, you ask, eh? I was sitting in the bar waiting for you last night. 
And I got picked up. Just like that. I didn't even have to buy her a drink. <laughs> yeah? Was she good looking? Gorgeous. Blonde? No, brunette. And uh, did you... It was a deeply moving experience. <laughs> so, uh, what's the chance of meeting it? Uh, not good. It was strictly a one-nighter. She was a timpanist. Is, uh, is that some kind of religion? In an orchestra. And they're going on tour. Or so she said. <laughs> okay, she probably was spinning me a line. It certainly sounds like it. And what's her name? Meredith. Meredith who? Andrews. <laughs> well, what's so funny? Oh, it's nothing, nothing. No, I just had this wild thought. See, there's this Meredith I know. I was just Another trying to Another one of your conquests. Oh, no, 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 far from it. She's a doctor at the clinic. As cold as they come, completely unconquerable, even for me. I call her the Ice Maiden. <laughs> you got up pretty late this morning, hard night? Uh, not especially. Oh, I didn't hear you come in. Really? I made enough noise. So? So what? So how was the concert? Oh, wonderful. Fabulous performance. Great music. Big crowd? I packed. Oh, that's funny. What is? Well, there's no mention of it anywhere. There's usually some sort of review. How about you, Alison? Seen anything? About what? About the... What was it? Jazz concert? Hmm. Or did you say it was a string quartet? All right. You got me. I didn't go to a concert last night. I went out and found my own entertainment. What doing? Oh, uh, nothing much. Here you go, Much. Hello, Papa. Mm. So, uh, fountain of all knowledge, tell me what you know about this cosmetic surgery. Not much. Why? Well, I've just heard a few things through the grapevine. It'd be nice to find out what the truth is. Well, it's nothing new. Dr. McKenna's been toying with the idea for quite some time now. Oh, it's more than toying now, isn't it? If you ask me, I think it's a wonderful idea. All those poor people in terrible accidents, scarred for life. Yes, I agree, Marge, but I think the sort of surgery McKenna has in mind is more in the line of liposuction. Breast enlargement, facelift, totally unnecessary. Really? Well, that's sort of... Think of the benefits, Marge. You know, staff discount on a facelift. <sighs> Come on, Jenny. What's the guts? Look, I'm sure Dr. McKenna will discuss the full details with you when the time's right. Until then, you'll just have to be patient. Now, if you'll excuse me. Typical. Playing your cards close to a chest, as usual. Yeah, but at least if we do start doing plastic surgery, we can do something about that chest. Well, you can laugh now, Steve, but things are going to be different around here once McKenna's finished. Oh, it can't be all that bad. McKenna? I just reckon Hono's overreacting about this whole plastic surgery thing. Yeah. You know why? It's because he doesn't agree with it. But I think it's wrong. Plastic surgery should be made available to those who need it. Yep, it's a good thing Dr. McKenna's put Chris Warner in charge. How do you know so much about it? I don't. Hey, Kirsty. Guess what? What? I've got a date with Jed tomorrow night. Is that all? I thought maybe you were going to tell me something exciting. Well, it's exciting to me. What about you? What are you up to? Mm, nothing much. I haven't really thought about it. You've got to do something. Go on. Go out. Find yourself a man. Have a bit of fun. I don't need a man to have a good time. Maybe not, but it sure helps. Yeah, well, I happen to view my single status as an asset, not a liability. I mean, look at Steve. He finds a woman and look what happens. He's been pining something chronic since Sarah went away. I might take him around a pizza or something and keep him company. It's how sorry I feel for him. <laughs> Nonsense. The only person you feel sorry for is yourself because you're alone. I am not. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Chris has told me a lot about you. It's all good. I cross my heart. I can hardly believe it. My brother, practically a legend around the nurses' hostels of Auckland, nailed in a meaningful relationship. How did you do it? Just lucky, I guess. Uh, why don't we all do dinner tonight, eh? Ellie, you fancy coming out having a bite Sounds to great, eh? I can fill Alison in on some of the more sordid details of your past. Like the time we went skiing and the instructor broke his leg. We had to teach an entire busload of cheerleaders. I also remember that we had to send out a search party because you accidentally on purpose got lost with one. What can I say? I was taught by an expert. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we can make it a foursome. Why don't you come along, Jack? Uh, no, thanks. Please? No, I can't. Not tonight. Maybe some other time. Well, it looks like it's just going to be us three. It'll be fun. It'll be a hoot. 
Great, that's settled then. Come on, I'll give you a guided no. tour. My brother, practically married. I hope it's not hereditary. Oh, a little bit of tact for once in your life, will you? Hey, I hope I didn't disturb you too much by coming around this morning. Oh, I'm glad you did. I probably would have slept in otherwise. So, um, did you do a bit of socialising afterwards? Oh, no, nothing like that. Um, who'd you go with? Oh, no one. Just went solo. Hey, well, let me know next time and I'll take along, huh? Sure, we will do. And if you want someone to mind Andrew... Oh, thanks for that. I hope he behaved himself. He was perfect. He and Hone get on so well. Although I'd be quite happy to have him any time, even if Hone's out somewhere. Careful, I might just take you up on that. <laughs> and this is the delightful Jenny Harrison, without whom this clinic could not function. My brother Guy. Oh, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Jenny. So what do you think? About what? About my thighs. Have they shrunk? Look just the same to me. Oh, but did you promise me they'd get thinner if I did that exercise program? No, it's not going to happen overnight. Well, so how long do you reckon? Well, Jenny, I have to be honest with you. Even if you do slim your thighs down a bit, it's not going to do much for your overall body shape. What's wrong with my body shape? I'm not saying there's anything wrong exactly. Look, all I'm saying is that your thighs are just one aspect of your body. And even if exercise helps to tone them up a bit, it's not going to be that noticeable. It says your proportions, they're wrong. What about my proportions? What in your chest area. What about my chest? It's nothing major, it's just it's a bit... flat. Flat? Well, can I fix it? Not the exercise, I'm afraid. It's just your body type. Oh, it is. Look, keep up the good work, eh? See you at aerobics tomorrow night? No. I don't like exercising before I go out. It makes my hair go limp. OK. Pick you up round eight, eh? Hey, do you, do you mind if um, Kirsty and Steve come along? It's just they're feeling a bit lonely at the moment. Sure, the more the merrier. And you sure you don't mind? Nah. Mike and Glenn and Rocky and a few of the other boys are going to tag along anyhow. Oh. I'll see you later, babe. Hey, keep up the good work, eh? Flat. <laughs> so you've got a Morgan here? Ah, uh, yeah. I've never seen a dead body. Who's that? My lecturer. <laughs> you haven't met him yet. Chris Warner, the junior version. He's just oh. like Chris, you know. Not physically. Huge ego, always talking about himself. When did you meet him? A few minutes ago. Chris brought him in to meet Alison and now he's giving him the guided tour. A guided tour? Mm. So when do you haven't bumped into him by now? Uh, Jackie, could you do me a favour? Uh, I've got some notes to write up. Could you collect my next patient for me, please? <laughs> yeah, sure. Thanks. Well, that's it. The show's over, I'm afraid. I've got work to do. Oh, I'll see you at home then, eh? Hey, uh, how about we go to the pub first have a quiet? That sounds very good to me. I'll see you later. See ya. Mr. Oswald. Anyone down for me, Marge? Oh. Gina. Gina! This way. You know, that girl changes her mind like the wind. First she likes Dr. Roberta, then she wants to see Dr. Warner. She'll run out of doctors soon. Well, maybe Honey was too busy. No, yeah, she made a special point that it was Dr. Warner she wanted to see. I thought they'd already diagnosed her problem. She just wants a bit of attention. And maybe Dr. Robert is not willing to give it. I hope it's nothing serious. But it is serious. They're humongous and I want them shrunk immediately. Gina, there really isn't that much to shrink here. I am sick to death of everyone telling me that. First of all, Honai says I don't need it and now you're telling me I don't need it. But believe me, I need it. I feel like this this really amazing person trapped in this, this thunder thigh body. Well, I'm a pretty good judge when it comes to thighs and uh, liposuction isn't for you. How can you say that? I mean, just look at them. I'm looking, I'm looking and, and I'm telling you, if I sucked any fat off those thighs, there wouldn't be anything left. All you need is to exercise, drink lots of water, and they'll tone up in no time. I've tried that, but it doesn't work. I, I mean, I work out at least three nights a week. I drink hundreds of litres of water every day. I even stand on my head for half an hour every morning, hoping the fat will move to my chest. But it won't budge. I'm just a blob. Gina, liposuction is really only for obese people, and you're, you're not obese by any stretch of the imagination. Well, if you won't do liposuction on me, then build me a bust. What? So I won't be out of proportion. Well, that's a possibility, but um, you're aware of the controversy over silicon implants. Well, can't you use something else like jelly or rubber? I promise I won't complain unless they're lopsided or one's bigger than the other. 
Some might say that the disadvantages far outweigh the advantages. Chris, you're not going to change my mind by dwelling on the bad points. I just want you to consider all the possibilities before you make your decision. Just think about it, will you? All right, fine. OK. Then what? Well, then, if you still want to go through with it, make an appointment to see me and uh, we'll take it from there. Perfection, here I come. Excuse me. Signing up for the netball team, Carrie. No, but I wouldn't dream of rostering one of their star players on duty during a big game. It's more than my job's worth. Oh, damn. Oh, don't tell me you're afraid of someone on the netball team. Who is it? Oh, I'm dying for a coffee. Uh, it's hot. I just made a fresh pot. Oh, only if there's enough left. Should be. Um, you didn't make it for someone else, did you? Are you having a bad day? No, no. I heard your brother was in. Yeah, you should meet him, actually. You probably have a lot in common. Really? I is he... Yeah, he's still... a trendy lefty, too. Here. Oh, no, actually, I'll pass on the coffee. I thought you just said you were dying for one. Oh, I'm becoming far too dependent on it. I'll get something across the road. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, what's up with Meredith? Uh, too many late nights. Or maybe she got out of bed on the wrong side. I wonder who was on the other side. Oh, Gina, I got your account here. It's due today. Oh, look, I haven't got any money on me. Will a cheque do? Sure, just make it out to Shortland Street A&E. Okay. Oh, look, there must be some sort of a mistake here. I don't think so. You've charged me the full work every time. I mean, most of those weren't actual appointments, more chats. Hey, right, what have you got to say about this? You've charged me for all these appointments. Well, you did see me around a lot in time as money, as McKenna would say. But you didn't even do anything. Why should I have to pay just because you took so long to diagnose a problem? Well, the only reason I... You even refused to talk to me about liposuction last time. Now, why should I pay for that? Yeah, well, OK, look, I'm going to deduct that, Mon Marge. And the only reason I Well, let me was... tell you. I'm glad you fobbed me off because I found a much better doctor who is not only glad to discuss things with me but is also prepared to do surgery. Now, that I don't mind paying for. Who? Dr Warner. Dr. Warner has encouraged you to have liposuction? Breast implants, actually. Now, I've heard about those things. They cause people no end of problems. It's not safe to tamper with your God-given body. Too many things can go wrong. Now, if you ask my advice... Well, be... I don't. Advice is far too expensive around here. <laughs> Are you all right? I uh, what? Are you all right? Um, yeah, I'm just a bit tired. Oh, well, put your feet up, I'll make you a coffee. Yeah. Uh, do you know if Chris is still showing his brother around the clinic? Oh, no, <laughs> thank goodness. He left ages ago. Oh. What do you think? About what? About Guy, Chris's brother. Oh, never really formed an opinion. Oh. Well, never mind. I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunity. Well, what makes you say that? He's not coming back, is he? Oh, not that I know of. But Chris and he were making all sorts of plans. Sounds like to me he'll be here for a couple of months. Oh, great. Look, are you OK? You're looking a bit pale. <laughs> Nothing a stiff drink wouldn't fix. <laughs> I can relate to that. Hey, why don't we go for a drink after work? Yeah, that's a good idea. The local all right? Sure. I've got to go to the money machine and then get changed, so why don't I meet you there? Yeah, sure. See you later. OK. How can you want to see Chris this time instead of Pone? No reason. Dr Warner was the only doctor who was available. And? And so I made an appointment. No, I mean, what's wrong? Oh, well, uh, well you know, woman's problems. All oh, right. Besides, I don't really want to talk about it, OK, Kirsty? Uh, Steve, what are you doing tomorrow night? Oh, just gonna have a quiet night at home. I told you, he's gone all pathetic without Sarah around. Well, there's no need. I was telling Kirsty before that me and Jed are going clubbing and we'd like both of you two to come along. Now, I'm not taking no for an answer. What do you say? No. no. Auntie Gina says you can't stay at home and watch the mole grow. Besides, it's a mega trendy club and there's free entry and happy hour till 10.30. Now, what do you say? I still say no. There's no real point in, in going out without Sarah. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to go out myself with Jed and the rest of the gang from Muscle Beach. All right, we'll go, won't we, Steve? Why? Because I said so. Do I have any choice? No. Oh, 
So, uh, Michael, what's this I hear about us moving into cosmetic surgery? Not finalised yet. Well, it would have been nice to hear it from you. Look, I lost the bit on the laser equipment because somehow, somewhere along the line, it was leaked I was interested. I needed to keep it quiet. So what are you doing talking to the likes of Gina? That was completely unintentional. She overheard a conversation Chris and I had in the coffee shop. So why is Chris so well informed? I've been talking to Chris, yeah. We've been meeting regularly to discuss the equipment. And as soon as we get the green light, we'll be bringing in other staff members. Well, you can count me out. When I accepted a position here, it wasn't to become a cosmetic surgeon. Look, it's always good to make changes for the best. It's called progress. Well, I don't call facelifts and breast enlargements progress. It's unnecessary surgery. And it's not why I worked my butt off studying medicine. No one's asking you to become a cosmetic surgeon. If you want to turn down the chance of a lifetime, that's your prerogative. As far as I'm concerned, it's your loss, not mine. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Guy? Hi. Hey, good news. What? Guy might be joining us at the clinic. Ah, as what? I'll let him explain. What would you like to drink? Uh, white wine, thanks. Mm -hmm. so, uh, another beer, thanks. Yeah, I was talking to McKenna. Apparently the clinic's setting up an anger management program. Oh, really? And the counsellor has agreed to let me follow it for a research paper for my social work degree. Oh, and how long will that take? A week, two weeks, I'm not quite sure yet. Oh, don't you have to get back to Palmerston? Not for a month. Well, welcome to stay as long as you like, right? Sure. Meredith! Meredith! Hello, Guy. You two know each other. <sighs> Meredith. I never realised you had musical talent. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost. It seems I think the change is what I need. Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be Sean and Street If you want to find a way Of searching for another world It's hard to see This program was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.